decided he wanted all the Jews out of this country. So he decided he would hold a debate in sign language. Any Jew who could figure out what the debate was about and give the correct answer would let the Jews stay. If not, all Jews would have to leave. No Jews wanted to do it except for one chicken farmer. Now, the chicken farmer was brought to the king's palace and the king made the first sign. Fingers spread out. But the chicken farmer held up a fist. The king looked amazed and said, Wow, correct, here's the next one. The king put out two fingers in front of the chicken farmer, and the chicken farmer held up one finger. The king again looked amazed and said, Wow, if you can get this last one, you just get to stay. And then the king pulled out a piece of moldy cheese, but the chicken farmer held out a perfect egg. The king almost jumped and said, Wow. Just get to stay, what can I say? So, late that night, after the chicken farmer had gone, the king's royal admirers gathered around and said, What was the debate about? I put out my finger spread out to symbolize that the Jews were spread out. He held out a fist to show that the Jews were strong and together. Then I pulled out two fingers. He pulled out one. I um, pulled out two to symbolize two gods. He pulled out one to symbolize one. Finally, I pulled out moldy teas to symbolize that the Jews were all old. He pulled out an egg to symbolize that they were brand new. Later that night, at the chicken farmer's house, everyone in the village gathered around and asked, what was the debate about? Well, it wasn't much. I mean, I didn't get much of words. The king held up his finger spread out to slap me, and I held up a fist to tell him I, I wasn't afraid to hit a cat. He held out two fingers to po try to poke me in the eyes, and I held up one. So, I guess the king decided not to fight me, and he pulled out his lunch, and I pulled out mine.